YouTube, we're here in Chicago at NARBC, and this is the Schaumburg Show, the very first time we're having this show at this location in June. There's a massive crowd, it's super exciting. We're gonna bring you all along. We have a really awesome table set up with some really cool animals. And so far, the crowds have been massive. So let's check it out. Let's see some of the projects that other people have and uh, check out the awesome things we brought. What are you liking at the table so far? The Odi Yellow Belly Super Inchy Pie. It's a nice one. It is gorgeous. What about you? I love that Super Starburst. Yeah, it's hard to not, right? Yes. That's crazy. Yes. yes, absolutely. Josh from JK Reptile Lab. This is my wife Krista, my son Liam. Enchi Highway Head Pie from Justin Kvalka. Super pumped to get it home, put it in our collection. Red Stripe Yellow Belly Special Thick Clown Board. Excited about it? Very excited about it. Awesome. What are you going to put it into? Uh, so I, I was just talking to Chase. Uh, at minimum, we've got a GHI Head Clown. And so right off the bat, that's, you know, uh, Yellow Belly GHI Special Clowns, which would be amazing. I mean, it's just idiot proof, right? So he's, he's already got some good size on him and some great jeans, and he's from JKR. And you can't so, go wrong. Can't go wrong. Nice. Herbert from HB Reptiles. You liking the show so far? I'm loving it. What's the coolest thing you've seen? Honestly, probably Justin's table. It's the most extreme. Do you have a specific snake that you wish you could take home with you? Anything Ultramount. So my name is Max from uh, Crystal Ball Exotics, and uh, we're based out of Nashville, Tennessee. And um, probably the favorite animal over here has got to be uh, probably going to butcher it. The Orange Dream, Yellow Belly, Fire, Desert Ghost. Probably three other jeans yeah. in there. <laughs> the, 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 the yellow and black. Yeah, the, all the DG stuff. The DG pied as well. All right, so this is a redhead spot nose het pied, and it's being bought by Justin here from Pike Line Pythons. He's got incredible, incredible lavender clown stuff um, and holy grail stuff that he just made some really wild stuff. So this will be a really, really cool uh, addition. Beautiful animal. John Chalsmer with John Chalsmer Reptiles. This is a IMG Motley Arabesque Probable Jungle Boa Constrictor. The IMG is an increased melanin gene, so every every time this guy sheds, it'll get darker and darker. And the fact that it has the Motley gene in it, it'll turn solid black as an adult. I'm doing Boa Constrictors, Ball Pythons on a small scale, and Brazilian Rainbow Boas. My website's John Chalsmer Reptiles. I'm on Jay Chalsmer at, uh, on Instagram, and I'm on Morph Market as well. We are Ship Your Reptiles, so we are here at the show, and what we do is we allow you to buy animals at the show and then ship them home. So we've got all the packaging materials, the boxes, the deli cups, the heat packs, the cold packs, whatever you need to successfully do a shipment, we would take your animal from you, ship it out on Monday for delivery to you at home on Tuesday. So that's what we do here at the show, but that's what we do all year round. Hit us up at ShipYourReptiles.com. This is a pure Carampa Island retic. Took me 14 years to get the group together and successfully breed these. Very few were ever imported. There are only six adults left. They can never be imported again. And uh, so far we're the only ones to have bred these in captivity. Plus they are the most extreme. When you're talking about super dwarves, 
you know, everyone says they're flighty or they're this. These are super mellow. Their patterns are amazing. People say the Supergirls are ugly. I don't know how you can say that is an ugly snake. But that is, their patterns are incredible and they are the smallest. So just even being able to bring one here to show off is a real treat because most people have never seen one, let alone a Captain Bread one. I've been working on my Xanthic Clown project for a while and we were able to produce this spot nose Xanthic Clown, which is uh, probably, I think, one of the first. I don't think I've ever seen another one. Um, but it's also post blade and, and it's just amazing in how the pattern and head stamp come about. Um, but we've worked on this project now for three to four years and uh, we're moving it along. I'm, I have some Phantom, Hypo, Desert Ghost, and she's stuff being added into it. So we're gonna see what happens in the next Desert Ghost, Exanthic Clown would be. Yes. Yeah, I've been really, really lucky on my Panda projects. I've, as you know, on the shipping show, I have a couple of them. Yeah. And so last year we hit a core gold panda, and, and it's just amazing when it came out. I just saw the purple and white head, and I'm like, yes. It's awesome. It's nice when you work on a project for so long, and it finally comes into fruition, oh, you know what I mean? But that's what makes it satisfying. So these are uh, Blackfoot Orange Terabillas. They're from Tesoros to Columbia, which is really cool because it's a um, organization or business down in Columbia that is working with their native wild fauna to legally propagate it and send it to the United States to combat smuggling because it makes them accessible for people that have legally produced non-smuggled animals in the U.S. actually laying her second clutch and we did not know that she was grabbing. She shut out about a week ago and I guess she decided to lay today. She's actually got a clutch that is due to hatch in about six days. She laid 12 eggs at the end of February. They'll have extra sperm in their in their ovaries I guess and she'll lay uh, extra eggs like six weeks later than their first clutch. And today was the day. Today was the day. a spot nose, red stripe, yellow belly clown. Just shed out, pretty excited. This is actually a, a byproduct. We had uh, two clutches from a male, you know, the, the male was a uh, black pastel spot nose red stripe clown that we got from Justin. Bred that to a yellow belly het. Nice. So yeah, we missed on the Pompeii, but had phenomenal odds yeah. and great byproduct. That is awesome, it's yeah. male or female? This is a male. Nice, yeah. there you go. Yep. Awesome, it looks great. So this is a really, really fun show. Hope you guys enjoyed kind of tagging along with us. Be sure to follow, like, and subscribe. We'll be back here again in October for the big, you know, Cat Daddy show. We're really excited about it. Thanks again, and we'll see you again soon.